Hi all, this is Sia Naz and welcome to episode 27 of the Diary of a Hip Hop Artist podcast. So as you can see in the background, um, I've got a new um, backsplash there and it is of a theatre, very plush sort of theatre. So nicer background than last week and as you can see above me is 2000 and that's to celebrate the 2000 downloads of my podcast so thanks to everyone for downing downloading my podcast and tuning in um so we'll start the week and i'll let you know when it happened and what happened so um borrowing from casey neistat which i love and he does these i thought i'll start with this so monday we're starting with monday which was the 6th of may and on monday uh, I promoted um, some of my videos uh, that I've been doing and freeing up some space on my laptop because I'm downloading new programs to help me with my um, music and uh, helping edit my videos and with um, Adobe Premiere Pro. There's a lot of programs that I've purchased now that I've got the whole package and I'd like to download a lot more, but I don't have enough space on my laptop. So I'm just trying to free up more space so that I can do more things. So I've been um, trying to free up my laptop and as, lo uh, as well as while promoting my videos, I've been trying to find new um, areas that I can promote my podcast and my music. So now I've got a Tumblr account and I've had Pinterest for a while, but I've never promoted it, which is a bit silly. So you can catch me on Pinterest under CNS Songs and you can find me on Tumblr on under I am CNS Songs. So somebody's got CNS Songs, I'm not sure. I didn't even look up who the person is, so somebody else has got my name. So my one is I am CNS Songs, so that's my one. And I found looking through my YouTube stats that uh, the Tumblr account is quite popular. I've only got um, one post up, but I'll be putting more stuff up there. So uh, have a look at that. Um, if Tumblr is your choice of social media that you like to view, I'll start putting some more stuff up on there. Uh, you'll also find the links to all these um, social media um, outlets under my YouTube video. So it's got a list of my Insta and Twitter and Snapchat and all that and the Pinterest and the Tumblr is all there. So all the media, um, the social media platforms you can, there is available there. I'm on almost all of them. So that was on Monday. And then on Tuesday, um, I was working on I Want It again, not overworking the um, auto-tune um, and just sort of like overthinking it. When you're overthinking working on a song or working on music, um, it's not good. It's always good to work with other people so that you can hand it over to someone and say, oh, what do you think? But at the moment it's just me and I'm just working on all my own stuff until I can meet some people that I trust enough to to say, oh, what do you think? And and accept their, um, their answers. So... Um, yeah, I think I sort of wrecked it a bit, um, but I worked on it a bit more and, um, yeah, just overdoing the, just over editing it and comping it, which again means like taking the best bits out of a song and putting it throughout the song, um, like the best, um, take that you've done from a verse or from a chorus. I kept, uh, comping it more and more. Um, from the final version and then <laughs> just going a bit nuts so and then a bit nuts so on the auto tuning but lucky that sounds really good doesn't sound bad I think there's only like one or two notes that I couldn't fix and they weren't sounding the best but doesn't matter all fixed now um, so that's what I was doing on Tuesday um, overthinking and overworking my song I want it but then on Wednesday, oh shit, I forgot to do Tuesday. That was Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. So on Wednesday. <laughs> do I need? Oh, there we go. Wednesday. 
So on Wednesdays when I got the 2,000 downloads so on my podcast. So thank you so much to everyone who's listening to my ramblings and my goings on from day to day. Uh, thank you for everyone who's listening and downloading. So um, I got 2,000 downloads of my podcast on Wednesday and that was totally awesome. And that was when instantly my mind came to do the 2000, um, the balloons for the 2000 podcast. So I think that's kind of cute. And I finally uploaded I Want It, thank God, because if I touched it anymore, I think it would have turned into a completely different song. So that was uploaded on Wednesday and I promoted it. Um, on Wednesday, I also had a really good idea and I'm glad that I finally actioned it because I've been thinking about doing it for a while. Is um, I'm on LinkedIn as well and I went through LinkedIn. Um, I've probably got over um, just under 2,000 people that I'm connected with and I went through all those to see who are DJs and remixes and I contacted about 10 to 15 people um, and asked them if they would uh, remix I Want It and one guy came back to me. Um, but that was a few days later so... Yeah, I did get some responses, but I emailed about um, 15 people and um, I did that on Wednesday. So I'm really proud of myself for doing that. It's a really good idea because otherwise uh, I'd have to pay someone to do it. But <laughs> when you're broke, you have to be creative. And I thought that was a really good idea to uh, contact people on LinkedIn so, yeah, I did that on Wednesday. Got to try and not get ahead of myself. On um, Thursday, 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 um, I was listening to Blab Chat, which I highly recommend. I guess it's more for producers and beat makers, but it's really awesome with Ill Mind and Perfection and um, Glam and... Atlas, Atlas the plug, there's the four of them. And just really cool, they give you some really great information. And they were talking about this guy called Pink Sweats and he makes awesome music and a lot of it is some, how would you describe it? Hip hop, hip hop, R&B uh, and it's guitar but it's really soulful, it's really lovely and um, the songs are really beautiful. And um, and I just thought I'd tell you about him. He's got over 100,000 subscribers. I think about 100,000 subscribers, but still not many people know about him. So I thought I'd just give him a shout out. And if you have a listen, uh, beautiful voice, beautiful voice. Um, I also promoted some of my videos using people on Fiverr, um, which always kind of worries me a bit because I also worry that I hope they're not buying um, views and likes for me. I'm hoping that they're actually promoting my videos in music-related genres on different platforms because I don't have time to go onto every single um, blog or contact or there's like there's only so much that I can do I think I should make it a priority though because it's important that I know where my music is put I mean they give you snapshots of where they've posted your videos um, but sometimes it's pretty bad like really bad like I've had some of my videos being put up on work from home blogs and groups and it's ridiculous, just all these stupid places. It's like, that's a video, that's a music song that I want promoted or that's my podcast that I want promoted. So obviously you should be promoting it in music-related genres or music-related um, blogs and, and places like that, not work from home and stupid things like that. So I always try to keep an eye on where everything is being promoted and what they're doing. Plus I can have a look on my stats. But the problem is I'm always having lots of videos being promoted so I don't know who's promoting what where because you don't always get, they don't always show you where they're promoting your music. So it's just something that I'm trying to keep an eye on and try to work with good quality people but my budget is really limited so I'm doing the best I can with the money that I've got and the time that I've got. I mean I'd rather be working more on writing lyrics and working on beats than promoting and doing all this other stuff so... It's all a priority, but it's like what's more important, you know. 
so that was what I was doing on Wednesday and checking and I was checking a lot of my stats to see um, where a lot of the views are coming from which is really important so I know where to concentrate and um, I noticed that Tumblr was um, getting a lot of getting a lot of traffic from Tumblr and getting a lot of traffic from Shazam as well for the song No Regrets. So I'm not sure how that's happening, but I think that's pretty awesome. Um, I th- I sent it to be to Gary V for them to put it on um, Gary V's daily updates and things like that, but I don't see in my stats anywhere that it says it's coming from a Gary V video. Um, but I think it would tell me if it came from any of his videos. I've been meaning to ask D Rock, but I'm just too embarrassing in case he says like, "Who are you?" and and what if he doesn't respond? And I mean, I think maybe I should. But I'm sure that in YouTube it would show up in my stats that if I was getting traffic from one of his videos, it would show. But it hasn't showed that any of my traffic is coming from him. So. But yeah, I'm getting some traffic, quite a bit of traffic from Shazam, which is awesome. Uh, so that's what I found out. So oh, oh, I'm always excited when I look through the stats for YouTube because I'm always interested to see where people are finding my music, where they're listening to it. Um, so that's always cool. And I think with most people, predominantly, the traffic comes from the US, uh, which is good because that's a massive hip hop market, hip hop pop market. And um, yeah, so that was on Thursday, on Friday, Friday, on Friday I got the balloons for the 2000 episode, yay, and um, for, and I got, and on Fridays when I got the, on Fridays when I got the responses from the DJs, and um, I actually got the responses, a few responses on Thursday, but I was too scared to look at in case they told me go away or not interested or I don't know, I don't know why I'm always negative, but I did actually get the responses on Thursdays, but I was too scared to look on Thursday. So I had a look on Friday and um, I got the responses from Friday. Um, so I got two responses. One was from an, a DJ from Italy and... I don't know if I should say his name um, in case it doesn't <laughs> work out. That's me being positive. And I got another response from a DJ in Nigeria. Um, and both of them have been... The DJ from Italy has been a DJ for over 30 years and the guy in Nigeria works on a radio station. And I got responses from both of them and they both said... Uh, the, the DJ from Italy said to send just my vocals and that he will work on the chords. And then I sent him like a thousand messages just to clarifying what I'd said, what, I, what I've sent to him, which I think was going a bit overboard, but I was just so excited. Uh, so, and then with the Nigerian DJ, he responded and said, oh yeah, you know, send me your song and I'll listen to it. But when I approached everyone, I approached them and asked them if they would um, have a listen. So I actually did send my song when I approached them the first time. So I'm not sure why he didn't see that considering when you put your YouTube link anywhere, the video pops up. So that was a bit annoying. It's like, how can you miss that? And I'm like, well, if you check the message that I sent you, the video is actually there. So yeah, that was a bit disappointing. I mean, you know, read the messages people send you and don't send unnecessary messages. So that was on Friday. So I haven't heard back yet on Friday. Turning the page on my fluffy diary. Uh, Saturday, this is getting a bit annoying showing papers. But on Saturday, um, I worked on my new song called Creep. And... Uh, just writing lyrics and just figuring out what I want the song to be about. Actually, I know what the, what I want the song to be about. It's about somebody who's awful, who's annoying the hell out of me and who I've had a few run-ins with who's really nasty and um, what what they've been doing is sort of hiding from me and because they know that they've done wrong. And then we clashed. We clashed really badly and... 
and now they've gone back into hiding and they knew that they had done wrong. It's almost like they were doing wrong on purpose to piss me off and just sort of waiting for me to, like, attack. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. What's the point of being mean? You know, what's the point of that? Like, I've never been malicious or mean on purpose. Like, if I'm angry, it's because you've pissed me off, you've done something wrong. I wouldn't be mean just to be mean. I'm not that sort of person. So that's what this particular song is about. It's called Creep. So it's them sort of creeping around me, but then me sort of um, confronting them and then having a massive argument with them. But now they're creeping again. So, yeah, it's not good considering they don't live very far from me and I don't like this particular situation. So, yeah. Uh, so that was on Saturday and also I watched, I love watching movies, I love watching documentaries, I love learning things and on Saturday I also watched this um, documentary called Pulitzer at 100, it's about the Pulitzer Prize and I got it from iTunes, I think it was like 99 cents and they have documentaries for 99 cents, that's the only reason I got it. <laughs> And um, thank you, iTunes, for doing that. It's nice and cheap and I can watch some really, really good um, documentaries. I absolutely love the one on Fabergé, the Fabergé eggs. I think it's still 99 cents if you want to catch that. And the Barkley Marathons, that's really awesome too, about this crazy um, marathon in the US, just crazy. Um, and it's been going for 25 years and only 10 people have ever finished it. So it's it's. it's pretty crazy but I highly recommend it but this one that I saw was Pulitzer at 100 and it had a lot of the people that have um, won a Pulitzer and uh, and when you watch it you just see it's just like they're just normal people you'd think that if you want a Pulitzer you're like this amazing person and maybe they're rude and they're arrogant because they've won this prize and they're so good but when you see it, you'll see that the people are really just very humble, very normal, just really hardworking and just want to get to the truth of things. And I think that's pretty much me too. Like I try to do as much as I can uh, in between, you know, being a carer for my parents and, you know, trying to look after myself and also doing my music and babysitting and all this stuff. Um, trying, to, You know, I'm trying to do my best and trying to be honest like that. Uh, with my songs, I'm. You you can't fake what you know. I can't fake what I'm writing. It's it's all incredibly honest. It's very makes me feel very vulnerable. But I think because I record from home and I do it myself, um, there's no one to be afraid. You know, to be embarrassed in front of. It's just me at home, and and I can say exactly what I want to say without feeling you know like oh, I want to change it or I can't give my all so I think that's the best thing about being a bedroom producer um, you're in the safety of your own you know bedroom as I am and you can be as vulnerable as you want to be and say what well, exactly what you want to say and not be scared so um, that's what I found about the the people that have one pull it so they're just really really normal people who who themselves have um shown their vulnerable side and written a play or written a book or written music and it's won awards and yeah it's it's awesome it was really cool i was i was really happy to see that and just show that you know they they're just normal people so yeah there's hope for us all i don't know if people overseas can win anything like that i mean not like i'm gonna win something like that but Kendrick Lamar did win a Pulitzer, didn't he, for damn, but he's American. I wonder if anyone from overseas can win win something like that. Anyway, not something I'm going to look into because I've got other things to think about. And then Sunday, Sunday, holding up my Sunday paper. This this must be, this is an art to this, Sunday. There we go. So on Sunday, which is today, and it is Mother's Day, and happy Mother's Day. So I'm just trying to <laughs> straighten my head. <laughs> Looks a bit crooked. So um, today is Sunday, so happy Mother's Day. But also I want to give a shout out to the people who have lost their mothers. Like a really close friend of mine, her mother died last year. So I'm really sorry for the people who have lost their mothers or they don't have a good female role model um i send my heart to you and send love to you and and hope you're doing okay it can't be easy on a day on especially the weeks following up to mother's day and you see all the cars and the flowers and everything um 
Yeah, it's just a money making day, really. I know from I don't Uber that much anymore, but from when I was Ubering, I I had um a chef from a really big restaurant, and he was saying to me that Mother's Day is one of the most popular days that they have. Like it's Mother's Day, then it's Christmas Day and uh, New Year's Eve because people take their mothers to to dinner to to dinner or to lunch. So it's one it's a really big day. So that's why it's you know have so heavily promoted. You know it's a, it's money making. People buy stuff for their mother. So um, yeah, it can't be can't be easy for for people who have lost their their mother. So you know, my heart goes out to you and and I hope you're okay and you're having a good day. Um, uh, what else did I do? And today, uh, this is like one of the good things about having the, this podcast. It makes me work and because I hadn't done anything. I'm so stuffed from the restaurant. I ate so much. Um, I took mum to La Luna Bistro, which is a bit of a fancy restaurant. And we ate really well. Was, the food was beautiful. It's a lovely little um, restaurant. There's not many um, tables there. So it was really awesome. And it's nice and cosy and um yeah the waiters were lovely the food was really good and um yeah we had a good time so um yeah but we had a lot so my stomach's feeling very sore um but uh what I did was (laughs) I ate a lot and also I finished working on the song Creep which is awesome and just sort of fine-tuning verse two was a bit difficult just again when you overthink things then you just write a line then you erase it write another line erase it and it's like why am I doing that like and my strength is in my songwriting that's my favorite thing so it's like you know trust yourself that what you've written is what you want to say and that you know it's not like you know try to do better try to do better I think what I was trying to do was write exactly what I wanted to say that's what's the most important thing for me when I write my songs is am I saying exactly what I want to say that's that's the most important thing that's that's what I was trying to do uh, I haven't there's not a lot of lines in this in this song because I'm lazy as anything and um there's not a lot of lines so um I was just trying to say exactly what I wanted to say in this song and I guess that's why I was erasing a lot of the lines and rewriting them. But I think we're good now. Um, I'm happy with them. But what I'm going to do is wait until tomorrow and have a fresh look at them. And I always find that sometimes the next day I can rewrite something to exactly what I want to say or say something that I'm like, wow, that's awesome. And um, I don't take credit for those. The, that credit goes from above. Like sometimes I write lines and I'm like, well, there's no way that came from me. It's like when you're writing and it's just flowing, you just know that you're getting help from above with things like that. It's it's like you're a vessel and, and just it's just coming through you. So just keep writing. So I love it when that happens. So I'll have another look tomorrow and maybe I'll get hit with... Um, um, some of that um, tomorrow. We'll see what happens. And um, yeah, so that is the week. That's what I've been up to. Busy little week. Um, next week, I really want to try and um, write a bit more. I've got quite a few beats that I bought from um, a beat maker. Got like 10 beats from a beat maker. Let's see if I can try and write um, some more lyrics and get some more songs out and also work on my own beats so that's the priority working on beats writing lyrics and even using other people's beats and writing lyrics so that is the priority but sad news is that um i think last week i told you guys i got accepted into call arts um a college of musical arts in in melbourne but I'm not going to be able to do the course because the first day that um, the, the school starts is the first day mum sees a specialist um, for her condition and it's just I don't think it's going to work out this year. She's going to have a lot of appointments and I think, um, you know, family is more important. I don't want to be rushing around you know, I want to enjoy it, so I'm going to defer um, doing the course and have a look and see what happens during the year and see mum's health and maybe do it next year. So 
That's that's some sad news, but also I think good news because the course was going to cost me eighteen thousand dollars, and I was kind of worried how I was going to pay that. And I don't want to have that sort of debt. And I always have Gary V's voice in my head, like you know, <laughs> school is for chumps, but um, and you know having that debt. But it's also nice to go to school, meet lots of other people, and learn. Um, but also, yeah, the debt was really worrying me. So I'm going to have to try and figure out how to do what I, music, the course was music production. So I just need to figure out how to do this music production. I've tried on my own, but I find it, it, it I find it difficult music production. Um, like mixing your songs, that's, that's the bit that I find difficult at the moment. But I guess I used to find beat making difficult and I'm sort of mastering that. So I, I know I'll end up mastering, mastering mixing. Um, it's just going to take time, but it's always nice to have help. So um, uh, that's something that I'm going to have to work on in the coming uh, weeks, or months, years, figuring out how I'm going to learn all that. It's, it's just a learning path, all this, learning how to do all this stuff. But I'm pretty proud of myself, what I've achieved so far. And um, the quality of my songs are getting better. Um, so it's all a learning path. So um, that's it for this week. Please share with your friends or someone you think would like to hear this podcast. And thank you for everyone who's listening and downloading and hopefully sharing. Um, so I will catch you on the next show. Thanks for listening again. And I will speak to you next week. Bye.